Hey everybody, my name is David. I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church. Hey, this week in preparation for our new series, I was thinking about all the things that a lot of people think are true, <laughs> or that we just accept as truth, but they're not actually true. Like there's a lot of those types of things. I don't know if you ever thought about this before. Like we just see things or hear things or read them on Facebook and they just sound true. So we just accept them as truth. And a lot of times we just pass them on, you know, in conversation, we'll say, oh, well, you know, you know, coffee stunts your growth, which is why we don't give coffee to children, which is totally not true. There's, there's no scientific evidence for that statement. Coffee does not stunt your growth. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons I wouldn't give coffee to a child, but stunting their growth is not one of them. What about uh, penguins mate for life? You ever heard that one? Yeah, penguins don't mate for life. Penguins are monogamous. I mean, once they're in a relationship, sure, they stay with that mate, but penguins can get a new mate every single year. Or uh, did your mom ever tell you not to crack your knuckles because cracking your knuckles would lead to arthritis? Yeah, that's not true either. I mean, you just have synovial fluid inside uh, your knuckles, and then when you crack your knuckles, you're just releasing that fluid. It doesn't lead to arthritis. And in school, you probably learned that Napoleon was short. Napoleon was 5'7". That's taller than me. Or that Einstein flunked math. That's not true. Also, swallowing chewing gum does not sit in your stomach for years undigested. Uh, going outside with wet hair doesn't give you a cold. Uh, stick deodorant doesn't cause cancer. And sharks cannot smell your blood over a mile away in the water. It's just a lot of these types of things. A lot of these things that we think are true, they sound true, and then we just pass them off as truth. But if you just do a tiny amount of research, you realize they're not true. They're just things we think are true. So that got me thinking about faith and Christianity. And are there things in Christianity that we think are true? And we say things like, well, the Bible says, and yet, where does it say that? I mean, we say that, right? We say that the Bible says this or the Bible says that, or we, we talk about the things that we believe, but do we know beyond the shadow of a doubt that those things are true? And if you were in a conversation with somebody else and you were supposed to defend your faith and you were gonna stand up for the things that you believe, would you be able to say beyond a shadow of a doubt that that's actually true and you know where you could find it in the Bible? That's what we want to talk about for 10 weeks. 10 weeks, we're going to talk about core doctrine. I just felt like, you know what? The kids have to go back to school. So come on, mom and dad and everybody else, let's go back to school too, right? The adults, we're going to use our brains for 10 weeks. And we're going to talk about the 10 core doctrine things that we all essentially hold as truth, as Christians, and say, these are the things that we say are true beyond the shadow of a doubt. Like you can believe what you want about some other things, and we can agree to disagree on other stuff, but... These 10 things, these specific 10 things we say, you know what, I don't, these are true, no matter what. These are the 10 true things that we hold to in the faith. That's where we're going for the next 10 weeks. We've got two opportunities to worship at Walden Church. We have a service at 930, which is our more traditional service. We have hymns, we have a choir, and then our 11 o'clock service is with a worship band. We have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey. We want to be your local church. I'd love to see you guys there. Thanks. Have a great week.